Okay, hi guys. This is a apparently video for only because, well, I didn't realize the video had stopped uh, <laughs> on the last little bit there. Um, anyway, so I've uh, switched to doing the belly, and as you can see, I've um, switched to the light blue, and I basically did a running stitch uh, this way, and now I'm going up and down these lines again using the, the whole bind stitch and uh, making sure to keep my needle straight up and down and, uh, and nice and consistent uh, stitches. Um, now one uh, few, or <laughs> not just one, but a few more things to keep in mind is that you want to um, keep your hands clean and that basic I mean they look clean and everything they're never clean um, you know before you um, stitch or every once in a while you're gonna need to uh, wash your hands soap and water dry them off really good because you don't want to get this stuff wet um, and you can um, you know not waste your time with hand sanitizer because that won't get your hands clean it, uh, you know, makes them sterile-ish, but doesn't actually, uh, get the dirt and the oil off of your, uh, hands, which then get around the ring. You could get fingerprints everywhere. It's awful. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep stitching, uh, away, and you'll see the end product when I make a, a pattern of it, um, very soon here. Um, I'm doing a batch of, oh, I think, uh, six patterns, um, this time. I, I do small batches, usually. Um, sometimes it's just two patterns if they're really big, and sometimes it's a lot more, um, oh, yes. So, uh, another thing that I wanted to mention was, um, the reason I like the whole blind stitch so much is that it looks kind of nice on the back side even um, because you don't have a lot of uh, messiness and, or bulk that you can get with uh, the back stitch or uh, with a forward back stitch. Um, I mean they all have their purposes. Sometimes you just need to shoot across and that's the best way to go. Backstitch also uses a lot more thread, um, just the nature of the stitch um, requires you to actually um, have a lot more thread on the back side. So something I wanted to show you was um, how neat and tidy the back side ends up looking using the whole bind stitch. And, um, it's now, you know, evident. You can get a pretty, you know, decent look on both sides um, using it. Um, see, it looks pretty funny like this until you get the rest of the lines in. But, you know, this is what it looks like for now. Um, also, there's some people who do not knot uh, their projects. They don't leave their threads loose necessarily, but they kind of uh, intertwine them with their stitches. So you'd go under this one, and then under this one, and under this one, and then uh, snip it, and then you don't have a tail, and you don't have like a little space, like right here, or right here, or right here, uh, necessarily because of um, the knot. Um, it's kind of just up to you, your personal preference. Um, and there's also more little fun uh, hints and tricks on the general embroidery instructions that I include with all the patterns. And if there's a special stitch that isn't in those patterns, or in those instructions, I actually include them with the specific pattern. And sometimes, because I'm lazy, <laughs> I've grouped them together. <laughs> um, and so you get the other stitches that are in that grouping, which is 
also kind of nice. It adds to your, your uh, brain library of different stitches you can use. And some of them are really great for um, different fill-in stitches or just different lines because if I wanted to bulk up this line but didn't want to use um, more threads of the embroidery floss, I could do a stem stitch or a uh, different uh, knotted stitch or a bouillon stitch or I mean there's so many different stitches out there I mean there's hundreds and hundreds of different stitches but realistically a lot of them are actually just um, combinations of different stitches out there um, or a slight difference of um, where you start and where you stop um, the needle per stitch Anyways, uh, keep on stitching, be happy, be well, and uh, I'll shoot another video when I uh, get asked to again. I hope this helps you. Um, keep in mind, digital downloads, you do have to print at home, but you can get them 24-7, seven days a week. There is no delay. The second the payment goes through, you get the pattern. You know, and you just print it on at home, or you can print it at a copy shop, uh, or the library, or wherever. Um, you do your printing, and uh, and then you're ready to set go. Um, I can make any pattern a printed hard copy, and actually mail it to you if you prefer it that way, because I know some of you just don't have access to a printer, um, and that's fine. I included uh, an in, in a nice little envelope with a picture, full color, like a photograph, um, on the front of the envelope so you know what pattern it is. Uh, I still include all the instructions and all the different uh, variations of that pattern, along with uh, stitching notes and color um, notes and, and things of that sort. And as a bonus, on the pre-printed patterns, I also include a printout of the transfer sheet. So it does take a few days for it to arrive in the mail. It's sent first class mail, but it does take a few days, and sometimes longer if you are um, in an area with really bad weather. Um, they say the postman doesn't stop for any reason. Well, he does stop for tornadoes, hurricanes, and blizzards now. So. There goes that idea. Um, digital downloads again, real quick, um, in a flash. Great if you have that last minute uh, gift you need to do in the middle of the night and you don't have a pattern yet. And uh, it, it shows you care and it shows that, you know, you, you actually spent time on somebody. This is a really inexpensive hobby if you want it to be. I mean, you can get a hoop for about two bucks. Embroidery floss is about 40 cents um, per color, and you get a lot of floss per color. Uh, they will last you many, many projects. Um, needles are pretty inexpensive, and you generally don't break them when you use them by hand. You're more likely to lose them than break them. Um, fabric, well, you don't have to have the nicest fabric. You can always buy it on sale too. Or you can stitch on something that you already happen to have um, either by uh, decorating it or by uh, you know making it into something new. You know, taking a pillowcase and turning it into a shirt, for example. Um, and I can also make um, a full kit for you if you like. Um, basic kit would basically be a hard p copy pattern, so already printed out for you. It would include a um, printout transfer uh, of the on the sticky washi salty stuff, um, and it would come with thread and a needle. Um, I can also give you a piece of fabric um, large enough to do the pattern. It would come with, um, again, all the colors and 
with enough um, it floss to finish the project. Um, I can also do a super deluxe um, kit if you like and that would basically be the hoop and everything else um, to complete your project that you would need and um, that would be a little bit more um, and I have to ship it in a much bigger envelope uh, <laughs> because you don't want the uh, the hoop uh, on the outside and you want to make sure that it arrives safe um, but anyways this is a very inexpensive craft um, and it's it's kind of hard to uh, you know do anything else um, as inexpensively without being uh, cheap or using inferior uh, products. Um, uh, a quick question that uh, I feel like I need to answer. Um, my colors are uh, listed by number and I kind of give it an identifier uh, as to what color that is, you know, is it a bright blue, a dark blue, a, you know, um, sort of thing like that, and then those are with um, DMC embroidery floss, and I know some of you don't get DMC embroidery floss where you live, well that's okay because I don't get what you get, because <laughs> um, there's other brands I actually used to uh, use um, more often, but my store stopped carrying them and I don't like to wait in the mail um, and, and wait for them to come to me. Um, but DMC is great and there are a lot of color converters out on the internet um, that basically say, oh, you're using 702, which happens to be green if I remember correctly, uh, embroidery floss by this company. Well, that is you know, number 162 in this other company. Um, or you can just kind of eyeball it. I mean, there is a full color picture uh, on the pattern instructions and, you know, showing the this, this sample. And you can always, you know, pick your own. I have no problem with that. It's your project. You're making it special. And whether you're making it special for you or special for somebody else, it doesn't matter just going to be awesome. Uh, if you ever find that I made a mistake on one of my patterns or I failed to include something um, important, let me know. I will re reward you greatly. Um, I'm not talking about a missing comma. That's a little too piddly and, well, we all need visits from the grammar Nazi. <laughs> uh, but you can you, you drop me a line if there's like I put down a color number that does not correspond with anything uh, remotely close and I will reward you um, probably with free patterns or maybe a special package uh, of some sort um, but yeah I've got orders all over the world I've got uh, people that I ship to all over the U.S. I even ship to APO and FPO addresses um, because I don't actually have to um, do different postage calculations with that. Um, if you're international, seriously save yourself the postage. Just order the digital download. All the patterns are available as digital downloads. Um, and there is no wait, there's no getting stuck in customs, there's no getting damaged in the mail, um, and you know, you can print directly from the computer onto, you know, the transfer sheets if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep on working and I'll probably have this finished and uh, with it, it the other buddies of this uh, set, so to speak, and uh, I'll have those posted next month. Uh, as I do new patterns every month, I uh, they vary, you know, how many patterns I, I get done in a month, but um, 
they do get done every month and uploaded so that you always have something new to see. Um, some of my patterns I have retired, but you can still see them. And if you see them and um, it says it's expired or 